Hello, Robert Kelly here, and welcome to week six for the program for online teaching. This week we're going to focus on internet skills, critical thinking, and tools. Go ahead and take the quick internet skills quiz when you get a chance, but when you take it, think about how you would have designed the quiz if you were testing your students' internet skills, and what would you do to help them if they didn't get a passing score. Next, explore Dave Raggett's introduction to HTML. It'll give you some basics for programming in HTML, and maybe you yourself will never program in HTML, but sometimes you may be driven to take a look at the HTML view of a website or of a item that you have on Blackboard, and if you've viewed Dave Raggett's introduction to HTML, it might make it just a little bit slightly more friendlier, or maybe you actually want to go out and start programming in HTML. It could be a very good starting point. Finally, you're asked to learn how to embed a video in your blog. Then, in terms of showing your abilities, step four, you'll be asked to post, and to do that, you'll find a video that you consider interesting on YouTube and share that in your blog. Then share that link as part of the week six discussion. And of course, comment in that discussion. The skill set is trying HTML. I like that. Sets so the bar where it's more easily attainable. And embedding a YouTube video. Let's start off with basic internet skills. I did a search of the web to see if there was any useful internet skills resource. Frankly, I think if we all got together to decide what were basic internet skills, there would probably be a lot of differences uh, based upon the disciplines that we teach and what we expect of our students. But if you want something to send people to, or just to get ideas for yourself, consider going to http colon forward slash forward slash www.gcflearningfree.org forward slash internet 101. The GFC stands for Goodwill Community Foundation. They have several different resources that are available. You may want to check them out. What I liked about it with this introduction to the internet is there's clearly different lessons here. There's interactives, extras, and videos. So I went ahead and played with this site. And again, it's something uh, that you may want to consider uh, viewing yourself. In terms of coding with HTML, as mentioned, I myself don't do that much with it. So once again, I did a search on the web and I found Code Academy, which is at http colon forward slash forward slash www.codeacademy.com. And it says here, learn to code interactively for free. And the interface is actually very nice. So I recommend come check it out. It's friendly. I even had a little bit of fun trying it myself. Uh, to get started, you can go to learn and then explore the web fundamentals and choose the HTML basics. On the left side of the tutorial, it has text that you can read and a set of instructions for you to go ahead and give something a try yourself. You see that I've gone ahead and followed the directions and I now have the word sample in bold here. I've shared what type of document this is. It's HTML and that I want to make the word sample appears strong, that is bold. Okay, well, you may have, uh, looking at this, say, well, that's very interesting, what's next? And we can say things like, you know, hello world. And take a look over here on the right, it shows up, so you can play with it. Move on to the next lesson, and it's now giving you a few other things that you can play with. I also thought for fun, let's go ahead and grab some other HTML and plop it in here and see what happens. So here I am at YouTube, and I'm going to go find a video, and you know, it's usually safe to look for a video that has puppies as the, the keyword, so here we go, and I'm going to click on this particular video, because we're going to grab the HTML embed code. All right, so let's say I want to share this video about uh, English Bulldog puppies learning to walk for the first time. Here I am at YouTube, I click on the share option, I choose embed, Here's the embed code, and you know what? If I'm showing this to students, for example, I don't want suggested videos appearing afterwards. You have no idea what they could be, so I'm removing that. So now I have the embed code. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to take it on back to my web fundamentals, and I'm going to highlight this previous material I wrote in, get rid of it, right click, paste, and hey, look at that. Isn't that cool? What a neat, 
way to play with HTML and see what it does. So again, this could be a fun little thing to go through and to check out. It walks you through it step by step. You can try some HTML you want. Uh, as you saw, we grabbed the YouTube embed code. We put it right in here, and this nice HTML editor showed us what it would look like to others. So come and play when you're ready. Next up is critical thinking and tools. And one of the things that you may be aware of is Bloom's Taxonomy, and it's recently been updated. And so over here on the left, I have a little picture here showing us Bloom's Taxonomy, and at the very bottom, uh, the lower order thinking skills would be remembering, though you still got to be able to do that. Uh, moving up to understanding then applying and as we continue to move higher up into the higher order thinking skills we get to analyzing evaluating and creating so the idea is that we like to bring our college students up through the remembering understanding and applying and get them into the analyzing evaluating and creating and here's a, a challenge that I would like to share with you to consider think of the different web 2.0 tools and other tools that are out there and connect them to where would they fit within Bloom's taxonomy? So if you're thinking of creating, helping your students with creating, what web tools would you pick that you think would be helpful for that? Or with evaluating, which web tools would you pick for evaluating? Likewise with analyzing and applying all the way down to remembering and understanding. And I could walk you through each of these tools, but some of you will know it, some of you won't. And what more fun than you to learn from one another as you share what you think would be a useful web uh, 2.0 tool or other tool, as well as where it might connect with Bloom's taxonomy. What a fun way to learn from one another and see what is current. Well, I wish you a wonderful week six. I'm looking forward to what you have to share.